I'm kind of terrified. We are currently on a collision course. We are just falling. So far, so good. Let's go. Look at us. No jackets. I know. Does not get any better than this. No time like the present. That was so cool. Not too shabby, huh? Holy cow. We are Brett and Jade Evans, and for the past year, we've been rebuilding the salvage sailboat in the little state of Rhode Island. With the repairs done and the boat shaken down, it's finally time to start our journey around the world. Which means leaving our comfort zone of the Narragansett Bay and heading southbound towards warmer water. Subscribe and welcome to the start of our greatest expedition yet. The sun just set on our last day as coastal cruisers, with our charted course taking us into the open ocean from Newport, Rhode Island to Annapolis, Maryland. Newport Bridge, here we go. We've been told that the first offshore passage either makes you or breaks you as a sailor. And considering we've invested over a year of our lives and all of our savings into this new life and endeavor, we have a lot hinging on how the next few days go. Last time under the Newport Bridge feels good. I actually can't really hear. I'm, I have a beanie, a hoodie, and then my jacket on over my ears and I can't hear anything. But. Look what we just did. Let's Wait, do this. Can you hear that? What? <laughs> All right, true emotions, how are you feeling? We're about to leave the Narragansett Bay. Ah, uh, I'm kind of terrified. This will be my first time out in the ocean. I don't think you ever really know what to expect. That's kind of what this life is gonna be like forever. So, time to embrace it. Because if I don't, then this won't be a very fun trip. It's pretty out here. This is kind of magical. Well done, babe. This is the first of the overnight updates for night number one. We have just passed Block Island. There are stars and stars and stars upon stars. And the headlamp is dying, sorry. Brett's over here holding it up because otherwise it would be like this. There we go. You're welcome. Say hi, honey. We ended up actually putting on our foul weather bibs. I know. You made that look good. Mm -mm. <laughs> now I think we're okay and I'm gonna grab the laptop and edit. I'm actually super excited because it'll be the first time editing a video start to finish while under sale. A lot of firsts. A lot of firsts. That's actually really cool because I bet you that's something we'll do a lot For sure. in the coming years. Yep. So much for using red lights. Right. <laughs> Our nerves were running high and they stuck around as we sailed through the night into this inky black abyss of ocean. But then the sun rose. Brett's just waking up, he's behind the camera right now. And that means it's probably the end of my shift. I'm actually not tired though, so I might just stay up and make breakfast. But it got extra cold for a bit right as the sun was rising and then the wind picked up now and we are just hauling. We're going seven knots right now. A minute ago we were pushing eight, just out of nowhere. We've been kind of just drifting out to sea all night. We are humming along pretty nicely at about eight and a half knots right now, dodging fishing boats. And Jade has decided that this is the perfect time to make pancakes. No time like the present. I think I made, got my ratios a little bit wrong, so I made one pancake and it was almost good. It was good for no recipe and being under sale, I think. But. I've now made adjustments. We're gonna try round two. Now that is a pancake. Bananas, because of course. Of course. Because this are banana bread. Not really 
really sure how, but it's kind of lumpy. It just maybe it was the boat. The boat was bumping around, making yeah. these bumps. Yeah, on the gimbal snow. Yeah. But I covered it in maple syrup, so I mean. Can't go wrong there. Can't go wrong. Good evening, everybody. I think it's around five o'clock, maybe six o'clock, and everybody's asleep except for me. It's my turn to be awake. I got pretty seasick this morning. It was really pretty big seas and really uncomfortable. We were getting hit basically sideways and it was crazy rocky and uh, I, I got sick. Things have calmed down a lot now. It's, it's pretty calm. We're cruising along at like six, seven knots right now. Jade's asleep. The dogs are laying in bed with her and she's getting rested up. She's been a trooper, just kind of taking over and just taking care of everything today because I, I, was, I was pretty down and out for a while. I would wake up for a little while and help around with things and then I'd fall right back asleep or throw up and then fall asleep, but doing good now. I'll give you an update on what we have for conditions. 11 knots of apparent wind at 80 degrees starboard, so it's just about right there. We are doing seven knots. So that's pretty good. We're doing seven knots in 11 knots of wind. Can't complain about that. With the way the winds have been, we've ended up staying pretty almost straight line from like Block Island to Norfolk, Virginia. So far, so good. Sun is just setting on day two. It's been a very, very nice day. As the sun's going down, it's starting to get a little more calm. The waves are dying down, the wind's dying down a little bit. It's only 10 knots of wind right now. And if it seems like this all night, I will be very happy. Pretty awesome sunset. It kind of looks like we're sailing into the sunset a little bit, which is pretty romantic. Except for it kind of looks a little bit stormy that way. It's a stormy sunset. A forbidden romance. How's your night? I slept finally. I was up for pretty much 36 hours with only a couple hours of sleep sprinkled in there somewhere. And now, muffins. And now, muffins. Look at these, aren't these cool? Silicone muffin pins. So I guess they're not tin at all, but. It is so nice out. Perfect conditions. We have following seas just kind of pushing us along. Gentle breeze. Wind is about 150. Just kind of just slowly downwind sailing. We made a little bit of course correction. We're headed to the Delaware now because we realized that if we continue where we're going, we might not make it in time to upload a video. But right now we are just enjoying. I mean, just look at this. It does not get any better than this. <sighs> hey, there's a skyline. I can't see it. Jade just hollered up the companionway. That's Atlantic City. So we got Atlantic City off our starboard side. Oh, hi. Hey. That's Atlantic City? It is. We're not close enough to see land, just the tops of the building. What do you think? How's your shower? I feel phenomenal. It's like one of those little luxuries. 
Oh, Definitely washer. a luxury. Hygiene. Hygiene. <laughs> what a thought. This is nice out here. It is so nice. In the cockpit? Brett is up on deck cleaning up after the puppy dogs going potty. For those of you who have asked, the dogs go potty on deck when we are underway. Typically when we are anchored, we just take them to the beach twice a day. Anyway, I brought you guys up here because Brett was up there cleaning up after them and I just hear him shout, I love the sun! I don't know if it was to anybody in particular because... The world, <laughs> the universe. A general statement. <laughs> We took off the oh. off the winter attire. Yeah, we were in four or five layers and still cold and still cold. It was brutal. And now look at us. Look at us. No jackets. I know. It's a good look. Pretty soon we can take the rest of our clothes off. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You keep implying that that you're going to be naked in our videos. She's not. Not, not in our videos. Oh. Just in our life. We'll have to put clothes on for the videos. <laughs> There's a bunch of little jellyfish. Like donut size. That's not little. Where can I see them? the passage went by impressively fast way faster than either of us were thinking and I for one kind of like a little bummed that it's almost over like a minute ago we got cell reception and got all these notifications our phones started going off we we're just kind of like oh bummer <laughs> <laughs> I think we were just kind of getting into the groove of it just started warming up the conditions have been amazing and we weren't quite ready for the path I mean it's not over yet but we're not quite ready for the passage to be over I was really expecting to get out into the ocean, to not be able to see land, and to be an easy. It was a very defined moment of pushing my comfort zone out just enough to make room for a really new, really amazing experience. And I had to push the comfort zone to get there. And then once you do, and you're there, and you're experiencing it, it just feels good. There were great conditions, and we think we were, the max we ever got offshore was like 50 miles. We weren't that far away at any given time. But Quit Try it. justifying it, no, like don't, downplaying don't. it. Everybody starts somewhere. Yeah. We don't have to be world cruising. You're right. We're building up to that. Old salts. Yeah. That's right. Gotta, this is a big deal for we're, us. We're new salts. Yeah. Young salts. Fresh salts. Fresh salts. <laughs> Slightly salty. <laughs> I am super pleased with our autopilot. I'm glad we got it dialed in a little bit better. Like, anyways, we can do this later. But yeah. There's something I was thinking of too that I was like, ooh, I should recommend this to everybody. Oh, the tablet holder. Oh, that is a really good tablet holder. That's an Amazon thing. Yeah. That's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That and Civilization. And I was thinking our little like cup holder. Driven. That thing's awesome. Yeah, it is. And just like that, after three nights and three days at sea, we caught our first sight of land. Remember earlier when we didn't need jackets? That was earlier. Now we definitely need jackets. But for multiple reasons. One, because it's getting colder as the sun's starting to go down. But two, because there's so many flies. Yeah, we got close to land and it was like, oh my gosh, we can see land and buildings. And then there was this little bird and it was like, hey, land life. And then right after the bird came an infestation of flies, but not just any flies, biting flies. flies. And so as much skin as we can cover is good. So it's fortunate actually that it got cold again. It's true. Yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah, it's a blessing. It wouldn't go that far because we also have hand warmers out and I'm about to go get a beanie and, and maybe I, gloves. And we had to jacket the dogs and, and then, then down for We should have videoed Dingo wanting a jacket Oh on. my gosh, it was so cute, you guys. I held it up and he ran over and he like shoved his head in it. But he shoved his head in the armhole, but he wouldn't back up because he wanted the jacket so bad. And then he was walking around with like, <laughs> we were just about an hour outside of the Delaware Bay and it's starting to get a little bit busy with very large boat traffic. For example, that guy. Oh man, he looks so small on camera. That boat is gigantic and we're AIS just said that we are currently on a collision course. Noted. Who do you think will win? I, we're under sail, so we have right away. Yeah, I think that's exactly how this works. Pretty sure that's how it works. We will definitely give way to him. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 
We are super excited that Audible decided to sponsor our very first passage and offer all of you guys a 60% off discount on your first three months by going to audible.com forward slash expedition Evans. Reading has always been super special to me. My mom would always give us one present to open on Christmas Eve, and the tradition was that we would each get a book. It was always a book. It would keep us busy all night or whatever she had up her sleeve that year. And something about it made reading so special and it's just this love that we've taken into adulthood. We don't really read anymore, but now we all listen to a lot of audiobooks. I actually abandoned Brett and I's Audible account earlier this year and hijacked my sister's. I loaded my card onto her account and now we just share one. So as we're both reading books, we're able to share the titles and kind of have our own little sisterly book club and it's been super special. Go to audible.com forward slash Expedition Evans, or you can actually just text Expedition Evans to 500, 500 Either way, you'll be able to get the really awesome discount of 60% off your first three months. It's an awesome way to support our channel, and also it will give you the gift of reading this season. That was so cool. That was really cool. Good spot. They were huge. Those are big dolphins. Those are big dolphins. Sorry, are you busy not hitting the ground? Yeah. Okay, well. I'm excited about the dogs. <laughs> impressions of Delaware? This is gorgeous. Not too shabby, huh? Holy cow. I don't like the flies, but... Uh, the flies are kind of gone now. Yeah, they're going away. The dolphins replaced them. It's a much more exciting welcoming party. Yeah. Time to set the anchor. Oh, they're jumping behind you again, the dolphins. <sighs> oh well. Let's go set the anchor. It's getting dark. such a good wall. All right, Captain. We've just completed our first ever legitimate passage. Feels good. Right. Feel real good. I mean, Amazing. pretty hard to beat. Talk about ending on a high note. Right? And this anchorage is lovely. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and join us next time. In a little selfie. When the Chesapeake tries to break us. <laughs> this is the worst conditions we've ever been in. We get an impromptu life lesson about currents. <laughs> Where are we going, honey? And traverse a busy canal in the dark. Welcome to Annapolis. All just in time for four complete strangers to move on board. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. And it begins. They were having fun too. Yeah, they were like, I saw them like, like. They were just so excited to see us. Ouch. <laughs>